In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss sample size for an interval estimate of a population mean. I'm going to use this equation right here. When you study sample sizes, there's two common equations you use. One is sample size for an interval estimate of a population mean. And the other one is sample size of an interval estimate for population proportion. You'll find the link to the sample size for an interval estimate of a population proportion below. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the actual calculation of a sample size. Plus, I want to show you how the sample size varies with margin of error, standard deviation, and required confidence. I'm going to walk you through the symbols, and then walk you through the calculation. N, of course, is sample size. This sigma is standard deviation. Z is z-score, and there's links to some videos on z-scores below. E, capital E, is margin of error. Notice sample size is completely independent of the mean. I am going to assume a standard deviation of 25, a z-score of 1.96, which is 95% confidence, and a margin of error of 5. So I take the 1.96 and I square it. I take 25, the standard deviation, and square it. Then I take 5, the margin of error, and don't forget to square that. This is equal to 3.84 times 25 squared, which is 625, divided by 5 squared, which is 25. This equals 96. My sample size would be 96 in this case. Now imagine if the sample size that I calculated was 96.2, I would round up to 97. So when you do sample sizes, always round up. In this case, there's no such thing as a 0.2 person, so you round up to the next person, which would make it 97. Now, if I take this equation, and I start manipulating, let's say in the first time, uh, margin of error. I'm going to draw a graph with sample size on the vertical axis of the y-axis. That's n. And then I'm going to put margin of error along the x-axis or the horizontal axis. Capital E in this case. The graph of sample size looks something like this, if I draw it right there. If I need or want a really small margin of error, I have to have a large sample size. On the other hand, if I'm okay with a large margin of error, I have a smaller sample size. I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to put standard deviation along the x-axis or the horizontal axis. If I draw a graph, it looks something like this. If I have a small variation or small standard deviation, I require a small sample size. But if I have a lot of variation or a large standard deviation, I require a very large sample size. This time I'm going to put uh, required confidence, my confidence level, on the horizontal axis. So if I don't need to be very confident, like 60% confidence or 80% confidence, I need a small sample size. But if I need to be like 99% confident, I need a large sample size. Now, this has been a video on sample size for an interval estimate of a population mean. As always, share the love, share the knowledge, Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. Subscribe, like the videos, please like me. Subscribe, subscribe, like, please.